Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this platform we discuss about designer fashion, luxury and lifestyle, but in a more practical and sensible way. For those of you who have been watching some of my previous videos, you might have heard me talking about the Bottega Veneta's Mini Jody. For me, this bag is the only bag I truly love from the new Bottega line. Um, and I'm kind of going back and forth with this. I love the intracciato. Um, I love the kind of knot and on the handle and, and everything. And then I'm, I'm going back with like, well, it's quite simple. It has only a top handle. There's no way you can attach any type of straps to it. So it is just handheld. Um, and the price is quite steep, like regardless, the leather must be like from heaven or something, but still the price is quite hefty for what it is. So I've kind of left it on, on the back of my mind, but it's still there and it pops up regularly. And um, last weekend I was scrolling on my Instagram and I'm following this Instagrammer or social media influencer from UK who has quite a big uh, following. So I would assume that things that she may be advertised or something like that um, are in a way relatable. I don't want to name her because the topic of this video might not be as flattering as, as some other topic. So I, that's not the point of who she is. But I saw on her Insta stories, she had what I thought was a Bottega Veneta's mini Jody bag in this kind of gray or I don't know, go um, cold cream color, um, like almost white basically. Um, but she had this kind of swipe up link with with add something, and and I was like, yeah, okay, like maybe maybe she has found something because she she had written like a. A good price or whatever like something that got my attention uh, so then I swept up the link and it did not get me to Bottega Veneta's site it got me to just like an online boutique that sell their own stuff and there it was dare I say a really really proper dupe <laughs> of that bag and that got me thinking because for me that bag looked looked more than just a dupe. It looked like a copy. It did not say Bottega Veneta, so we're not talking about fakes per se, but it was, I would say, a copy of it. So not even inspired, it's like copied exactly. And my enthusiasm kind of went down. So I wanted to have a chat with you. How do you feel about dupes and inspired by pieces from, let's say, um, the fast fashion or high street uh, side uh, and then more going into, let's say, copies and fakes? And before we get any further, if this topic got you curious and you are also interested to hear more about some designer fashion related conversation, please don't forget to like this video, comment something down below, subscribe to my channel and come back here. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I think you would also like it here. So we can start by defining these words. I have not done like a proper research from some dictionary on how these are um, like properly explained, but I just feel like I want to clarify when I use the word dupe, I mean an inspired by piece. So I would say like fashion is filled with dupes from each other because uh, brands do follow each other and especially from the kind of high-end designer world, the high street brands do obviously get inspiration from there uh, to produce their own products. And I don't think there is anything wrong with that. Um, I personally also purchased inspired by pieces such as my Dune sandals. I do feel they are a dupe or inspired by piece from the Hermes Oran sandals. They don't look exactly the same, 
but it is I would say an inspired by peace they remind me of that sandal so i do feel that um a dupe is kind of like inspired by peace it can be more of a look alike or then just kind of taking some kind of inspiration of it but for me a dupe never is a fake so basically it does not claim to be from a bottega veneta or louis vuitton when it is not so it is not branded with a designer fashion label um, and it is not from there so for fake that would for me at least it means that it looks identical it has a brand's name on it which is not true so most likely something like Louis Vuitton Chanel when it is absolutely is not but it looks like a copy basically and that kind of gets me to the topic of this video. How do we feel or how do I feel about these, let's say, copies? So this bag that I found from the website through this influencer, um, it's not a fake one. It doesn't say Bottega Veneta anywhere. It doesn't claim to be Bottega. Um, but um, I mean, to be fair, like the price is it's faux leather. It's not it's not the same quality. But for me, the bag, it looks exactly the same. Like, yeah, of course, like if you if I would have both of them in my hands, I most likely could see some differences, most likely, um, especially with the quality and how it has been kind of sewn together, etc. Uh, but like looking at the picture, for me, it looks exactly the same. And yeah, sure, it could be a dupe, but it looks more like a copy to me. Um, and I, I was like first for, let's say, 10 seconds or so, I'm like, yes, I'm going to spend this 40 euros, like super affordable, 40 euros on this. I'm going to get the look. I don't need to dream about the real thing anymore or then it might lead into me actually realizing I want to buy the real thing uh, because this dupe, I use it so much. But after this kind of five seconds, I started thinking like, I'm not sure if I'm okay of supporting copying. Like I do understand that fashion rotates and brands take influence from each other. Uh, and it's really hard to come up with something super original these days. Um, and, and that's fine. Like you can take inspiration of anything. But when it is like exact copy, um, I kind of, I'm not sure how I feel about it. So um, I do feel that for each their own. And I do understand that everyone cannot afford a Bottega bag. Um, or, or that matter, a design like high-end luxury designer bag. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't think everyone needs to have designer bags. Um, I don't think everyone needs to have bags that kind of reminds of these designer labels. Um, so in a way, each to their own. Uh, and I do feel that you don't like you should not be able to to get some joy out of fashion pieces uh, just because of they're out of your price range. And that's why I do love dupes uh, and inspired by pieces. But I think I met a crossroad here of how I feel about dupes versus copies. So I'm going to leave the word fake out of it because that bag is not a fake. Um, so it is, a, I would say, a, a copy, a, a very, very close dupe. So I've kind of met probably the crossing point right now um, that I am a big believer in dupes. I have purchased dupes and inspired by pieces of these kind of high-end designer items also to see if I actually would wear the dupe so most likely i would get the wear out of the actual thing that it is inspired by and i think that's a brilliant way to test out different things 
Uh, for instance, there was this crave for Valentino Rockstar sandals and shoes everywhere. Uh, I loved the look. I wasn't sure if I actually loved it enough to wear because the prices were quite big. So I did found, um, find sandals with some type of studs that reminded me of the uh, Valentino world. And I wore those sandals and I felt like, yeah, it's nice, but I don't think I would get the value from paying Valentino. So I do absolutely think that dupes and inspired by pieces are great. I do buy them too. But what is the difference between a dupe and a copy? That's, and with this item in particular, I feel that it's too close of a match. It's no longer just inspired. Um, it's basically the same bag without the label and, and yeah, the materials and blah, blah, blah. So that really kind of got me thinking what is okay anymore, like in, in the fashion industry. Um, I would personally maybe think it would be great if there would be like some kind of personal touch, even though it, it is a dupe and, and clearly marking something from the high-end fashion world, that there would be like something that differentiates, like a bit, like some kind of detail or, or something, um, so that there wouldn't be a possibility of you wearing, or me wearing, um, the, the dupe, the close-up <laughs> close dupe, and someone would actually believe that it is the real thing. There probably is the, um, the thing that I'm not okay with. Like, of course, if someone is not familiar uh, with that set fashion house with such a detail, they might still think it's the real thing, uh, even though it, it would look like different, sure. Um, but in like the, the people who are into this stuff and who know their fashion, like if there would be a slight chance that you see a bag like walking past you in the street and you just look quickly and might think it is a real thing, then most likely it is a bit too close of a copy. I, I don't, this is just kind of how I feel and I should have probably said this in the beginning, my intention is not to offend anyone. And as mentioned, we all have different financial situations. We all, all are different, um, with, <laughs> we are okay with different things, uh, for instance, and we are looking for, for different things from, from fashion, for instance. And all of that is more than okay. And that's the great thing about fashion, because I think that there is something for everyone. Um, but at least on my channel, where I would say fakes, um, this is my opinion, it's my channel and my opinion, I'm sorry, or no, I'm not gonna be sorry about my own opinions on <laughs> my videos, but it's like, I do not support fakes or that industry, so kind of seeing this close-up of a copy, I do believe with that price, most likely, if you have it in your hands, you, you know that it is not the real deal. But it looks too close of the real one. I don't know. And that's... Um, I don't have the answer. This is just me me rambling and, and thinking about what's the difference between dupes, copies and fakes. Um, and what, in a way, am I okay with? What do you think? about this topic in general. Um, you can also comment on the Bottega Venice bag or then this um, dupe. <laughs> Let's call it dupe. I don't want to label any, any brands or anything. But what do you, you think, what do you think about this topic? Um, wh what are your opinions on dupes or inspired by pieces? And do you see that there is some kind of line to be crossed moving towards fakes or is it just like if it does not have um, the brand's name then it doesn't matter i'm so so curious to know so please let's continue the discussion in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye